Sunfish are some of the most strikingly beautiful freshwater fish native to North America. They are known for their beautiful colors and patterns, as well as a feisty behavior in striking baits and lures. However, sunfish aren't targeted by many anglers because of their small sizes. But size isn't everything, and when it comes to colors and patterns, these little guys beat out most of the sport fish any day. The definition of what makes a true sunfish isn't quite as straightforward as you might think. There's more than one genus within the sunfish family such as Micropterus or the black basses, which include the well-known largemouth and smallmouth bass. The fish we know as rock basses are also closely related as well as banded sunfishes, crappie, and flyer. Many people use the term sunfish to describe a wide variety of these fish, but in scientific terms only members of the genus Lepomis are considered to be true sunfish. This video will list each member of the Lepomis family using pictures and range maps. Just like always, please note that the range maps aren't perfect, but it should give you a general idea of where all these fish can be found. This video is the eighth installment of a series that I'm doing on the fish species of North America. If you have an interest in species of trout, bass, pike, salmon, gar, or perch, please make sure to check out my other videos that I've made. There are currently 13 recognized species within this genus, not including the subspecies. Bluegill is the most common and widely distributed fish on this list. With its deep round body and signature dark spot on the gill flap, this fish is a favorite for anglers and a staple in many lakes and rivers across North America. It is also the biggest fish on this list with adults growing to be over 10 inches and 1 to 2 pounds in weight. However, 6 to 10 inches seems to be a much more common adult size. Next up is the green sunfish, and unlike its bigger bluegill cousin, it has a larger mouth and a mix of green and blue patterns along its face. This little fighter isn't afraid to compete with bigger fish for food. These fish are extremely eager to take your bait or lure, and they're very easy to catch. I've actually caught these guys with just a bare hook on multiple occasions. These fish are usually just 4 to 6 inches, but can grow to be as large as 10 inches on rare occasions. Like the bluegill, they are much more common and widespread than some of the other fish on this list. Having a rather odd name, the pumpkin seed is one of the most beautifully colored sunfish. It has a bright orange belly and intricate blue markings. This fish is only 3 to 6 inches, but usually stands out in any pond or stream because of its beautiful colors. The pumpkin seed is one of the most northernmost fish of the Lepomis. The red ear sunfish is also known as the shell cracker, a name it gets from commonly eating snails. The red edge on the gill flap is a signature mark of this fish. Red ear sunfish are one of the bigger fish on this list, usually growing up to be about 6 to 10 inches somewhat similar to the bluegill in size. The long-eared sunfish is one of the most vibrant species in all the Lepomis family. This fish is commonly identified by its extended dark ear flap and bright blue and orange body. On average, this fish is about five to six inches. Some key features for identifying the spotted sunfish are the ventral iridescent bowl in the eye and the discrete black spots that often form irregular horizontal rows along the body. These fish are often only 4 to 5 inches. It has a small range being mostly found in Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. Small but stunning, the orange spotted sunfish is a very small fish found in slow-moving waters. This species has a more elongated body than most of the other Lepomids on this list. One indication that you found an orange spotted sunfish are all of the orange spots that run across the body. The orange spotted sunfish is usually only 3 to 4 inches as an adult. As the name indicates, the red spotted sunfish tends to have red spots across the body. The body is more deep and compressed than the orange spotted sunfish. It is also slightly larger, being about 4 to 6 inches in most cases. The red breast sunfish is a species often found in rivers and streams. It has a long pointed ear flap and a deep orange belly that makes it easier to recognize than some of the other sunfish. 
Size varies by region, but normally this fish is found from about 4 to 6 inches. Its native range is basically the entire eastern coastline of the U.S. However, it has since been introduced to a few other states. The dollar sunfish is one of the smaller fish on this list, usually not exceeding 5 inches. There can be quite a bit of variance in coloration and patterning with this species, but a blue-green spotting will always be present on mature adults. This fish is found in the southeastern states, just like a lot of the other lipomids on this list. The northern sunfish can be very colorful, but especially during the breeding season. This is another one of the small fish on this list, and it usually doesn't exceed 5 inches. The northern sunfish has a relatively small range, found in and around the Great Lakes. The Bantam sunfish is the least studied of all the fish on this list. This is the smallest fish as well, with the max size being just 3.5 inches. This fish primarily is found in stagnant swamps and sloughs. Its native range is almost the entire state of Louisiana, parts of eastern Texas, and north up into Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee. Warmouth has a very large mouth relative to the other sunfishes. It is a tough, stocky sunfish and thrives in murky waters. It is often taken for a rock bass as they share some similar features. Warmouth are usually caught at about 4 to 10 inches. Despite the fact that sunfish are very small compared to all the other fish that most people will go out and catch, I really admire these species because they're just so beautiful and they kind of go unnoticed and untouched. I put a lot of work into these videos and it really makes me happy to see that people are interacting positively with my content. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting my channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. Thank you so much and I hope to see you on the next one.